We're with you. We're there for you. Osteopathic training really helped me through the situation, really prepared me for any disaster that was there. It really, with my emergency medicine, I was ready to think on the fly and make decisions. And definitely with osteopathic training, be able to care for the whole patient. Gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Adrian White Fanes, Executive Director and CEO. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the 2014 AOA House of Delegates. I sincerely appreciate the commitment and dedication that all of you have made to be here today to assist us with our governance and our work. You know, it's been just one year to the week that I am here and my role as executive director and CEO and I want to thank all of you for welcoming me into the osteopathic medicine family. This past year, I was very, very fortunate to be buoyed by two incredible and outstanding individuals. Our president, Dr. Norm Vinn, as you know, is an avid searcher, surfer, and he brings the same energy and spirit and vision and drive to his role each and every day. And Bob, Dr. Bob Juhasz is a quiet, calm outdoorsman, more from the ilk of hunting and fishing, and he maneuvers through the terrain and with calculation and strategy. And together, they have been the quintessential team to lead this incredible organization. And I want to take a moment now to say, Norm, thank you. Thank you for your steadfast commitment to evolve this profession every single day. Last year, in this very room, I experienced for the first time the passion, the camaraderie, and the authenticity of the profession. But I was also incredibly inspired by the world of opportunity. It reminded me of the magic of a child opening their first tre treasured birthday present. And we, too, hold such gifts. We hold the power of possibility to dramatically expand access to healing through osteopathic medicine. After one year, my evaluation remains that despite the environmental and professional challenges before us, we still have outstanding opportunities right now. If we position ourselves not just to respond, but to lead, and when I joined the organization, the board asked me to focus 
on innovations that could prepare our members for this evolving tidal wave of change. And as you know, the osteopathic medical profession is evolving from a fully insular profession to a dynamic contributor and integral component of today's complex healthcare arena. And many of the forces at work in healthcare today are largely outside of our control. They're actually largely outside of the control of most of the healthcare associations. But therefore, it requires that we use innovation to adapt and to address our needs. We have to be responsive to the environmental changes such as generational growth trends, changes in lifestyles, changes in, in behaviors, and changes in communication styles. I, for one, no longer have facial expressions. I just send you emojis. So <laughs> we have to know in addition with these environmental forces that data is our new gold. And we have to create new engagement opportunities for our members welcoming a broader expansion of the DO market. And in my first words last year, I promised to you that we would renovate the great house of osteopathic medicine. And I'm so proud of the significant progress and momentum we have achieved just in this single year. We have prioritized the strategic plan, committing to grow osteopathic graduate medical education and build the profession's capacity for scholarly research and strengthen the visibility of the DO brand and enhance the impact of our public policy and control expenses and find new revenue streams so that we will have the available resources to invest in our future. Over the past year, we have turned a nearly $3 million budget deficit into a $1 million surplus, which will allow us to make strategic investments in our future. One of the reasons, one of the reasons I continue to be so excited and optimistic about our future is that we are a young profession. 60% of the 43,000, 60% uh, or 43,000 of this country's 70,000, 73,000 practicing DOs are under the age of 45. That's not counting the 22,000 students in our pipeline. Enrollment in our schools has grown from 5 to 8% every year for the last five years. And today, 25% of entering first-year medical students are in DO schools. The face, the face of our profession is dramatically changing. And our younger generations of DOs are our force of nature. They are more diverse, they are inspired activists, and they're committed to making a difference in the world. And the practice environments and opportunities are vastly different than those in the past. And they will continue to evolve. And we need to understand and meet their needs. Everything we do as leaders in this profession, including developing policy here in the House of Delegates, must be designed with their professional realities in mind. Hopefully, hopefully now many of you see and feel some of the exciting changes underway. We have a brand new OMED in the works this year that will engage a more energetic and interactive opportunity for our DOs. We're evolving the JAO way, working to enhance quality and participation in scholarly research, and we're pursuing new partnerships inside and outside the organization. I want to tell you, this is a new day. Our eyes are focused on positioning us for tomorrow. We must evolve together in the spirit of the possible. Not the if, not the when, but the why and the how to carry us through 
and make a change in the medical profession, our institutions, and our communities. This is our challenge. This is our opportunity. This is our responsibility to our patients, our families, and to each other. To our students, interns, and residents here today, you are the future. You inspire me as I go across the country and meet many of you because of the hope of all that you will bring to patients in the years to come. As a house, we must do what we can to give you mentorship, training, and resources to carry on the great traditions of the leaders before you in a very different and new healthcare landscape. To those students, residents, and interns, we appreciate you in advance. And to the entire AOA delegation and our guest, our work, our impact, and our efforts together have only just begun. Thank you.